Hello friends, welcome to Selenium WebDriver Training Session 29. This is Haradon, one second as usual. Today, in this session, I will show you how we can navigate to a particular web page and also we can check the page load status for a web page with the help of JavaScript executor interface in Selenium WebDriver. We already seen whenever we want to open a particular web page or we want to navigate to a particular web page, we generally use diver.get or diver.navigate to methods already available in Selenium WebDriver to open any web page, right? But also, user can use the window.location method present in the JavaScript executor to open any web page. So for that, first we need to create an object reference for the JavaScript executor. With the help of that object reference, we need to use the execute skip methods and window.location here into pass the URL to open any web page so that that URL will open. Okay. Now let's see how we can do it in with the help of Eclipse. Okay. So here I already set the properties for the Chrome drivers. I am creating an object code instance for the Chrome drivers, right? With the help of web driver interface and the Chrome driver class, I am maximizing the window and after that I want to pass the URL for Facebook, right? Then if from the Facebook page, if I want to navigate to the different page, so I can simply use driver.navigate to, right? But here I will not use that particular method. Instead of that, I will use the JavaScript executor. So here I am creating object or instance for JavaScript executor first. As JavaScript executor is an interface, we directly can't create an object or instance for the interface. You already know, you need to typecast the web driver reference. Is the driver here right? So, obviously, we need to import the JavaScript execute interface from margin.selenium.openq.selenium. Once the object instance is created, we can use that object reference, right? And we can use the execute skip method, right? And after that, we also use we need to use the window.location. need to give the location right suppose from the Facebook page if I want to open the ready page say right I can also open it let's run the code and let's see whether it's opening or not so after running the code it will launch the Chrome browser it will maximize the browsers after that, it will load the URL for Facebook page. Then it will wait until the page is fully loaded. Once the page is fully loaded, it will navigate to the ready page. So that is the code we have written, right? So we are not using the navigate to, right? Instead of that, we are using the window dot location, right? And we can navigate to a particular web page. Okay, and you can see ready page is opening, right? Okay, so now you can change it to another page, suppose Google page, right? And I also, I can also quit the driver, driver dot quit. And if I want to edit tip something in my also, I can also print it out, right? So, I so page navigation through JavaScript executor. So, that's what I want to print in my console, right? So here I am not using the navigate to diver or navigate to method. Instead of that, I am creating an object for JavaScript executor interface. I am using the execute skip method. Sorry, here it will not the execute asynchronous script, it will be execute script. Okay. Okay. So because we have run the async execute asynchronous script, that is the reason here some error message was coming. Because it will I mean wait. So we need to use the ex execute skip method method and window dot location here. I need to pass the reference, right? And after that, it will quit. Quit. Once the page is fully loaded, and after that, it will also, right? 
I mean, uh, I mean, uh, print something in the console. Let's run the code. So we are opening the Facebook page. After that, we also want to open the Google page with the help of JavaScript executor object, whatever we have created, right? Then we'll quit the page and we'll print the output. Let's run the code. Let's see whether it's working or not. So it is launching the Chrome browsers. Once the Chrome browser is launched successfully, it will maximize the browsers. It will pass the URL for Facebook. And once the Facebook page is fully loaded, it will pass the URL for Google. And once the Google page is fully loaded, it will quit the browser. And also after quitting the browsers, it will print the output in the console, right? You can see it's quitting the browser and also the output is coming. Page navigation through JavaScript executor, right? So that's why you no need to use the diver.gate or diver.navigate.2 but with the help of JavaScript executor object reference, you can also navigate to a particular web page. Okay. Let's comment it out. And the next thing I will discuss in today's session is like how we can check the ready state for a particular web page whether it is loaded or not, fully loaded or not. So user can check the state of the web page loaded or not using JavaScript executor and document dot ready state, right? JavaScript command gives details about the page load. In case page is loaded completely, it returns complete as a value. If the page is still loading, it returns interactive as a result. Okay. So here you need to use the JavaScript object reference. You need to use the execute skip method and you need to return the status right document or ready state and you need to convert it to string after that you need to write store in some string and you can print it out okay so here i am already opening the page facebook right so let's use the object reference jc dot execute skipped right and here you need to use the return because it is document dot ready state. It will you it will return something. Return document dot dot ready state. Okay, you need to return it. Document dot ready state, and you need to close with. You need to convert it to string. You need to dot to string, right? You need to convert it. Once it's you need to convert it to string, you need to store in the string variable. The load status. You can change it like that. String page status. You can create a variable called page load status and you can store it to string data type and after that you can print it right as and when required. Okay. So we are creating an object for JavaScript executor interface where we are type in the drivers and after that with that object reference we are using the execute script. And we are using getting the ready state with the help of document dot ready state, the page load status. And we are returning it and we are converting to string. And then we are creating a variable page load status and we are with the data type as string, then we are printing it simply. Okay, let's run the code and let's see what is printing. So, in case it is not fully loaded, right, still loaded, it will give you the interactive, otherwise, it will give you the value as complete. Okay, now it will give us the interactive. Because the page will not immediately load, right? After opening the page, it will take some time, right? So obviously, our output will be interactive. So it will, after launching the Facebook page, it will try to load it fully, right? But as initially it is not loaded, so obviously it will throw me the Output of this particular page load status as right interactive, not complete. You can see 
it is interactive right but in case you are waiting for some times right suppose i am giving the timeout divert dot manage timeout implicit wait suppose 30 second i am waiting right before the page is loaded so obviously the page will load fully right and after that if we run it right obviously it will give me the complete status okay so here, as we did not wait any, uh, enter any wait time so obviously it will take some time to load the page fully that is the reason it is showing me the interactive right okay but in case you are waiting for some time so that it will load the page fully and after that if you want to check the status of the payload status obviously it will give you right the status as complete let's run the code and let's see so it will open the chrome browsers maximize the browsers then it will launch the url for the facebooks then once the page is loaded it will give you the status but here you have already set the right timeout as 30 seconds so it should give you the result as complete right so it is uh, launching the browsers uh, for the facebook page fully after that if you go to the console it is still giving interactive right because anyway it is taking some time so that is the reason immediately it is not completed right so we need to use some tricks so that i can print here the complete okay so this line of code i need to simply use it before checking the status of the payload status right so after launching the page we are using an web driver right web driver wait class we are creating the object for web wait right and we are passing the driver difference and it will wait for 30 seconds okay let's comment it out this code also you can comment it out so you need to import the web driver wait from the org.openq.selenium.support ui right and after the with the help of wait object whatever is created for web driver wait we will check the expected conditions yes already registered is written complete or not in case it is matching to complete then it will check the payload status so here i will also need to import expected condition class from the org.openq.selenium.support ui right so what the line of code we have added first we are launching the chrome browsers then we are with the help of web driver wait i am creating object different so that it will wait for 30 seconds <coughs> maximum or maximum 30 seconds but it will wait for the until the condition is that ready state is matching to complete that means page, page is fully loaded right once it is complete obviously in case i want to check the ready state status it will give me the complete right now if i ch check you the payload status it will give you the complete okay immediately it will be interactive because it will take some time so you need to give some wait condition so that it is changing to page is fully getting loaded right status is going to complete after that if you want to check the payload status it, it will give you the ready state as complete okay so let's wrap the code let's see whether my code is working fine or not with the introduction of two new lines, lines of code which is the web driver wait and where i am giving the condition that ready state should be complete after that i want to check the ready states so it will wait until the facebook page is fully loaded once the page is fully loaded right then it will give me the result right here you can see it's complete right In the console output is complete because i already yet created the object or instance for the web driver wait where i already gave the condition that it will wait maximum 30 seconds or minimum is until the page ready state or payload status ready state is completed once it is completed then i am creating the object difference for the javascript executor and i am just storing the ready state status to the <coughs> after changing into string in the payload status and then i am printing it out so you can see night night is complete it's coming right okay so 
that's are the two important aspect today i have covered one is that with the help of window.location we can move to <coughs> any web page url and also with the help of document.registrate we can check the page load status whether it is interactive whether it is complete or like that okay so that is two importance functionality already we can do you with the help of javascript executor thank you all for watching my videos in case you are enjoying my videos and learning automation testing and java please like and share my videos do not forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you will get notification as and when i will upload any new video do not forget to provide a valuable comment for any input or suggestion stay tuned for my next video